Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are out doing some more top water fishing. I can't get enough of it really. Uh, most of this session I'm probably going to be targeting chub on the top water as well. They just give such aggressive top water blow ups and they're such hard fighting fish for sort of the size that they are that it can't be avoided. I'm basically sort of mimicking a session I did a few weeks ago where I started off for the chub on the river and then moved on to like forgotten ponds and tried for the pike. I'm doing that exact same thing, got the drone with me, um, got the big camera so hopefully try and get some close up, slow mo takes of these pike and big chub smashing top water baits. I've got some really cool hard body frogs, like this little BX skitter frog which hopefully is going to get demolished by the chub. And I've got some sort of pencil walk the dog style baits for the pike. So without further ado, let's crack on. It's been really cool recently. Loads of rain. The water temperature's gone right down. So it's perfectly safe for me to fish for these pike on the forgotten ponds, um, in my own personal experience anyway. So without further ado, we're going to get cracked on. Hopefully get some cracking top water blow ups. First cast with a BX skitter frog in this swim. The chub absolutely crushed it. <laughs> First cast to these fish. I've debarbed this so the other transit might come off. That's okay with me. I like to try and be as safe as I can with the chub nowadays. Absolutely crushed it. Just one of them hook points are actually in the fish. Oh, we nailed it. There we go. I think I might throw the bait in the net and he has. There we go. Small big skitter frog. Got demolished by a lovely chub. Now, I'm not in a great place here to get many close ups. And I'm sure he might catch some bigger ones than that today. That's a fantastic chub on that top water bait. We'll just release them carefully down in the net. Like I say, it's not really the best place to film with a big camera. So we'll just let him go. Fantastic. The pike. Oh, how cool was that? Guardian get engulfed the entire thing. Oh, there's a bait that's come out. Thankfully he's still hooked though. That was so freaking cool that he just come off, but barbless hooks, obviously we debarbed it. And I'm very, very glad that I put a light wire trace on this. It's only 10 pound wire. Um, but yeah, it just stops you getting bitten off by this pesky jack pike. And he did screw my wire up a bit. I might need to cut and retie that. Look at that. That's pretty cool though. See a couple of chub down there. Oh, there's chub downstream, there's chub downstream. Oh, I'm tangled up. I see him, I see him. I've got a chance, I've got a chance. Oh no, they've all spooked. I'll let it drift downstream. Good old technique with floating baits, isn't it? You can just let them go and go and go and float and float and float. There's one chasing, there's one chasing, oh yeah, he's really chasing it, come on, oh he missed it, damn it, see if we can do that again, yes, oh the dude <laughs> really blowing it up, man, they're absolutely crushing it, but I just don't think they're getting their mouths around it completely, There we go, that one did, Jesus Christ. That one absolutely destroyed it. I think that's one of the bigger ones as well. Cool. Putting a bend in that rod and he absolutely crushed it. I can't believe how hard they're hitting this skitter frog. 
That one's got both hook points in him, he ain't coming off. Yes. Yes. What a fish. I think we'll get a better look at that one. Absolutely nailed it, look. That's awesome. That one absolutely nailed it. Barbless hooks, look at that, straight out. What a fantastic job. They are blowing it up left, right and centre. I was going to be working my way through different baits to try and get these chub, but it looks like I found success almost straight away. Action straight off the bat. Chubba blowing up a little skitter frog. Left, right and centre. So friggin' cool on her. I think it is a lot better having barbless hooks on there. Sure, you might lose one or two, but you get a better hook-up rate, I think, and much easier to unhook and release. So let's get this one back. God, let's see if we can get some more. I was chasing these chub shoals and I found another one just at the back of this tree. I think they might be spooked, but we'll find out. Not that spooked. Not that spooked. What the hell? Straight away. Trespassing casting the swim. I can't believe how much they're nailing this bait. It's going to be such a fun session today. It's like every time I find a shoal of chub, it's instant action. Bang, and this is another good size one. I need to get the drone up soon, don't I? Or big camera up to film these close up takes. Only just hooked. Come on. Yeah, biggest one so far. Easy. That's a beast. That's a five pound chub. That actually makes that skitter frog look small. The next cast out, and that is a clonking chub. Probably about four and a half pound. It's really, really fat, I don't know if you can tell on camera. What a beauty, they're absolutely smashing it. Almost the moment it hits the water, they're flying up, nailing it. Gonna have to get that drone up soon. Or maybe the big camera pointed down there, get some close-up blow-ups. So cool, let's get him back. <laughs> right downstream in this swim. I didn't even realise he went that far down here. Another fantastic chub on the same bait. I bought a few different top water baits for me today, but I just when you find some that works, you know, you're gonna stick to it, don't you? I'm upside down in the river and I've been badly stung up. Oh. 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 Ow. That was a bad fall. Well, I didn't break my rod. Oh, I'm bleeding. Let's land this chub. Oh, I've been stung up by nettles all over my face, my arms, my neck. I'm gonna unhook this fish in the water and let him go. So I need to deal with myself. Beautiful chub though. Probably fish for about three pound. Smash that bait downstream. And God, that's the, uh, the worst fall I've had trying to land a fish anyway. God, I am in quite a bit of pain right now. So guys, that's where I've just fallen down. God, I must be fat. That's a big pipe there that I normally stand on to fish. That big dint in the front of it now, you probably can't tell as well on camera, it's a great big dint in that, was what I fell onto before crashing down into the water. And this is what I fell through first. So these are all nettles about five foot high, although I've squashed a lot of them down now. I fell all the way down there. I've cut my hand. I'm gonna to have to blow that out to you guys because unfortunately, YouTube's got a policy on um, demonetizing any kind of gore. And yeah, I cut myself on the metal part of that pipe. And as I've come down, and I'm probably looking a bit wet right now, but I've basically been stung by nettles all the way down this side of my face, my nose, all the way over my eyelids, 
my neck, all the way down this arm. Don't know if you can tell close up, but the whole of my arm is covered in little tiny bobbles, and little stings all over. And that's the sort of thing that happens when things are going really well. I've caught what, like four chub on the top water. I've been fishing an hour, an hour and a half. Amazing action. And then I crashed down through the nettles, cut myself up. My big fat ass dints the uh, metal pipe that goes into the water. Um, but I did land that chub. That's the main thing. Landed the chub, didn't break my rod, let the fish go nice and strong and healthy. And we're going to carry on fishing. I don't care. Uh, if I come across a shop, I might see if they've got any like plasters or bandages to go around my hand. But other than that, we're going to crack on. All right, let's see if we can catch any more fish. <laughs> right, guys, so you'll be pleased to know I am now bandaged up. Big old plaster on there. Um, I went to one of the local shops and they were really, really kind and just asked me if they had any first aid. They gave me some antiseptic wipes to be able to wipe the wound and a plaster to cover it up so I don't get any fish slime in it. And I even applied some of the cream to my nettle stings and they're loads better as well. So I am going to crack on with this session. It ain't stopping now. Um, the chub bite is obviously on, so we're going to see if we can get more action. Uh, but before we carry on, I'll just show you the bait that's been getting blown up so far. Um, and that is this little BX skitter frog. It's been getting absolutely crushed. I debarbed it to make it a lot easier um, for unhooking these chub, obviously trying to be as safe as we can do. And that has been getting absolutely demolished. I've got it in a few different colors, but I've decided to pick sort of a silvery white color because I figured they're used to hitting like bread on the surface. So they know white is a bit of a trigger color. So um, I think that might've helped. And then the setup that I'm using is actually a relatively new setup to me. It's the Akuma Psycho Perch. It's two to 12 gram. Um, so it's perfect for the baits I'm throwing today. I've just now changed over to a pencil style bait called the Precision Extreme Pencil, um, which is weighted 12 grams, so maxing out the limit of the rod. Um, and that is paired up with the Kuma Helios SX30 spinning reel. Uh, and I've got 12 pound suffix on there. And that's what I've been using this whole session so far. And that's what we're going to continue to use uh, as we go out into the countryside. We're going out into the countryside now. Um, hopefully find maybe one or two more chub, fingers crossed. And then hit some forgotten ponds. I've got my waders on. I'm going to be wading out into some forgotten ponds and trying to get some top water action from the pike. So let's crack on with this session and hopefully put some more on the bank. Yes. Oh. oh, shit. I can't believe it happened again. How did I fall in a second time? And worst of all, I've lost my glasses. My best ever fishing glasses. Oh. Well, at least we caught the fish. Jesus Christ. Wonderful hookup with a skitter frog. Look at that. Perfectly hooked right in the corner. Barbless hook straight out. Wonderful. Three pound chub. Cost me a pair of glasses. Thanks for that, buddy. Oh man. I was trying to pass my rod round the tree because I'd hooked it on one side of the tree. And as I came round the other side to try and get it, I just lost my footing. Fell all the way down. I don't know how that could happen twice in one session. The worst part about it, right, is that I've lost my glasses. Those glasses were the best ones I've ever had, ever used. They were expensive pair, I think they're about a 50 quid pair as well. So it's not like there was a cheap pair of glasses. I can't see them on the bank, they definitely fell into the water somewhere. Just have a scoop around. <laughs> Come on, I need some good luck. Oh, 
Oh my god. I really am a special kind of human being. Jesus Christ. <sighs> How can this be an amazing session and a horrendous one at exactly the same time? I haven't even got a brain today. Guys, I've decided the river isn't the place for me right now. <laughs> I've fallen in for the second time. Um, my plaster's all got loads of mud in it now. Um, and then I was convinced I'd lost my glasses. I was trying to fish them out for like 10 minutes and, and they were on my face. So. The river ain't for me. I've had a fantastic time catching fish, but it's causing me too many injuries. I've got a feeling if I carry on fishing the river, I'm gonna end up breaking my neck next. So it's time to hit some forgotten ponds. Hopefully have no disasters, fingers crossed. Although the way the session's going, I don't know. It's like I'm getting good luck and bad luck at the same time. It doesn't make sense. And hopefully get some wicked top water strikes on there. Maybe change bait as well to a more, sort of a pencil bait with a more walk the dog style action to imitate the small bait fish that are in those ponds. Right, let's crack on. Didn't get the hook, so let's try again. And again, missed it. Got it, got it that time. Yep. <laughs> Not a big fish. Just a wee little jack pike. Oh! Don't want to be stuck in the tree while I'm trying to get my net sorted out, buddy. Oh no, he might come off. Oh, there's another pike attacking it. That's why we're shooting up into the tree. Oh, he's come off. I think. He has, he's come off and he's left me low snagged in the tree. God damn it, that's what I get for fanning around trying to get cool shots. Damn it. And then unfortunately the fish has come off. And now the heavens have opened. That's just great. <laughs> great timing. At least I got my waders on. Get me low back. Time to resume fishing. Uh, good job debarb these hooks makes things a whole lot easier well it's time to cross the stinky moat <clears throat> i did spook something before i got down to this bank in here um there was something down in these reeds but this is the whole reason i've actually brought chest waders with me oh there's loads of tiny fry i wonder what they are maybe a little roach or something that's pretty cool it's nice to see it's flourishing on neglect Ah, it's nice bringing waders and not having to um, get completely soaked wet through. Let's try this spot. This really is the almost the sole reason why I'm wearing waders today. So we can get some cool top water shots in these little ponds. There we go. Oh, I missed it. All right, so my drone's just run out of power. I was really hoping it would get me a cool top water strike on here. It almost did. I had one strike that it just missed the bait. And he's followed it in a couple of times since. Now, he likes it right down the back end. And the only way I can get down there, really, is with the pencil um, bait that I've got. But the frog is almost making it. I'm sure that if I can get the frog right out to it, I'll have a good chance. Because the bait hasn't come into contact with yet. There we go. Pike just attacked something right next to where I was bringing my bait to. Whoa! 
Whoa, what a hit. Whoa, how cool was that? That was so freaking cool. You really want the frog. That was wicked. Oh, yes. Oh, we come off. Damn it. Shit. That was so close. I mean, he took the bait twice now. Why do you want the frog so bad? Gotta get the hook up for some reason. We got it that time. God, he really wanted the frog. Oh, I can't seem to keep this fish on. It's definitely not coming back for that, but hopefully I've got some really cool shots of that thing smashing into the bait. What a hit. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't get it. Come back. There's a couple of them. There we go. Yes, we got that one. We got that one. Yes. You are only small fish. Come on. Oh. What a little jump from that guy. Come on, you little bleeder. I only just hooked. On the outside of the gill rake, yeah? on the outside of the gill plate, should I say. Like I say, these Jack Pike were struggling. He's gone. <laughs> Good job stood in the water, isn't it? Yeah, those Jack Pike were struggling to take it. Um, I think it's just a very, very small fish. Just sort of throwing the bodies at the bait. Walk the dog style. Let's get one of these pike. I think the pike in this particular pond was slightly bigger as well than the little one pounders I've been catching. There we go, missed it. Famous lad's words, come on. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Straight away or something, like second cast out after coming back. <sighs> slightly bigger than those other pike we were catching. Probably just handline it, I'm stood in the water anyway, might as well. Don't jump. I got you, buddy. I... Absolutely crushed. The Precision Extreme Pencil. Lovely Jack Pike. Perfect hook hole right in the scissor. He did have one hook on top of his head, but it came out when I was landing him. I've debarred these to make life a lot easier. There we go. Beautiful little pike, slightly bigger than the ones in the other pond. Let's get this one back. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the scrap. The water is really, really cold. Like surprisingly cold for this time of year. I think all the rain we've had recently has really dropped the temperature of these ponds. Well guys, it looks like it's about to rain for like the third or fourth time this session. So I think it's about time to wrap it up. Um, I've just left those like forgotten ponds 
um, now and I had loads of action there, maybe like five or six takes. Landed, I think, maybe three pike, but there was only really quite small. But such good fun, and those chub I had earlier, fantastic. It's a shame about my uh, injury, and I'm still covering nettle stings, and my face is still humming. But it's been a fantastic session. And those baits got annihilated. Uh, the BX Skitter Frog was probably the MVP, um, especially for those chub. They were absolutely crushing it. I'll leave a link in the description to the baits I've used and the whole setup that I've used today as well. That'll all be linked down below if you want to check it out. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to, feel free to subscribe. It's free. If you liked it, like the video, and I'll catch you guys later.